everyone, it's Steph. Welcome to my channel. I honestly don't know why I still say that. It's been like 30 videos and I hate my intro every time, but I'm not creative enough to come up with something else. I guess this is what we're sticking with. Today we are back to American Horror Story season two. We're on episode four. It's called I Am Anne Frank part one. So another two-parter. I really liked the two-parter episode in Murder House. So I'm hoping that this one's also a really good one. I do also wanna say in my last video, I did say that my life has been super crazy, super busy. I haven't had the time to consistently sit down every week and then edit and film and all of that. So my posting schedule is going to be a little out of whack for the next couple of weeks to maybe a month until things kind of quiet down for me. There's not really going to be a strict schedule like how I used to post every Thursday for the meantime. So if you like my content and you're not subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to me and hit the notification bell so you know when I'm posting. Anyways, back to American Horror Story. I really liked last episode. I've liked every single episode so far, but I want to say maybe that one was my favorite. I don't know. They're all really good and upsetting at the same time. I'm excited to get watching with this episode and probably being very upset by what Dr. Arden's gonna say and do. So let's just get into it. Involuntary psychiatric hold. You know, we cut out a lot of paperwork. Mm, great, they love loopholes. There's blood on your coat there. Is it yours? It's theirs. I broke a beer bottle, I stepped them, they will live, <laughs> but. I mean, good attitude about it, I guess. No. <laughs> Ugh, I don't want to see this again. Am I gonna die? Oh god, she looks rough. After this, you'll probably live forever. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> is he turning her into whoever is out in the woods? I don't know what they are. They're people, they're creatures, they're something that we saw last episode. Is he turning her into one of them? Arden? <laughs> oh my god. What did it do? Crawl back inside you? through which orifice. Okay, I don't like him Sorry. saying the word orifice. I don't really like anyone saying it, but him saying it, so much worse. Tell me your story, I won't judge you. What's going on? I really like her. I hope nothing bad happens to her, but we know that that's probably not gonna happen. Was smart. Oh. Ugh. I lost my stepsister the next day when she accused me of murdering them. They wanted the farm for themselves. They planned every detail to convince the police. <gasps> that is messed up. Like I was flying. You'll fly again. That was cute. The Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. I'm sick. I believe I can help you. I hope he means it. And they can't keep you here if they don't have a current diagnosis. If I can convince them that I've cured you, they'll be forced to release you. There is no cure. I'm not like Sister Jude. I won't force you to do anything. Oh, no. If you want help getting out of this shithole, we better jump in. In spite of the religious icons everywhere, this is a godless place. This was true. Good line. What was that? You must be the new girl. You were there. What? In Auschwitz. Nazi! Nazi! I'm not surprised by this. That does not surprise me at all. I am Anne. Anne Frank! I mean, I think... Hello, jeez. I figured that was the name of the episode, but... Is she really? Anne Frank died. There were so many bodies when the Allies arrived. Thousands. Buried in mass graves. But I wasn't one of them. Well, this is an interesting narrative. People finally started to pay attention to what they'd done to us. All because of a martyred 15-year-old girl. So why is she telling her all of this? You are indecent. You have a Nazi war criminal working here. Maybe this is her excuse to fire him now? If I deem you sane, you'll almost certainly go to the electric chair. But if I... Judge you unfit to stand trial. You'll be allowed to live out the rest of your days here. How beautiful. That your psyche concocted this elaborate fantasy about alien abduction to absolve you of your guilt. No, it's not true. 
But I also believe that your death at the hands of the state serves no moral purpose. So does he believe that he's not bloody face or what? I'm, I don't get it. I didn't know it then, but Dr. Gruber never saved a single soul. He would visit us regularly in the women's barracks, bring us sweets. Mm. But he couldn't treat all the girls, he would say. So he left it to chance. Something had changed. He had made them sick. Whatever he'd done to them. They'd be afraid to speak out. They'd be sworn to secrecy. Glad to know he hasn't changed at all. Donna Burton, a librarian, was abducted from the Wasabi County Library. A short drive from the gas station where you worked. Her remains were found two days later. Her skin had been removed. Ugh. And when she confronted you about it, you snapped. Ah! All that rage, all that shame finally found its real Oh. Well, that's not what happened. Why is he saying all of this to him? You weren't there. I know where I came from, sister. Can you say the same about your Dr. Arden? Fire him. Put him in prison. Do something. Home for the criminally insane, where she was held against her will and subjected to unspeakable torture. The brave, Miss Lana Winters. To destroy my mind so I'd forget what I saw. I hope this is foreshadowing that she gets out and gets a, an award for her work and exposing Briarcliff. And then I did what I had to do to get out. How soon can we begin your therapy? Oh. Oh, what if I imagine the whole thing, the spaceship, the creatures, all my abducted? What if, what if I made it all up because I couldn't face up to what I'd done? I mean, I guess that's a real thing, but I don't think that's what's happening. Self-doubt is a sure sign of sanity. Hmm, is that true? Because that means I'm pretty sane then. Am I a killer? I don't care. Whatever you are. Oh. Interesting. So if he is a killer, she doesn't care. Maybe she's really a killer, because who just says that? <gasps> oh. And they didn't use protection. What if she gets pregnant? This sounds terrible. Oh, it's my queen. Needs to be taken. Sterilization for the both of you. You can't do that. I mean, they can. They've done worse. It's good advice, Kit. She's not the innocent girl she claims to be. What does it say? Well, your colleague here has been accused of roughing up a certain lady of the evening. A prostitute? No need to retire to your fainting couch, sister. Well, she says she saw some things which alarmed her. I've seen material. Yes. Get him. Oh. I have no idea what I'm even being accused of. One would. Did you not hear what they just said? Homicide. Certain details of the victim's statement caught our eye. Maybe we can ask you a question, Kit Walker. What about him? He seemed like the kind of guy that would have the surgical skill to remove a woman's skin. I mean, I did say so. Oh, no. Oh, this is absolutely horrible. Oh, no. I need a few minutes before the next one. I'm very impressed with your determination, Lena. Let's oh, I feel sick. Let's move on to the conversion part of your therapy. No. You know Daniel? I've asked him to help out with your trip. Oh. I don't feel anything. That's okay. You're not gonna make him touch me, are you? Oh. Actually, I'm gonna ask you to touch yourself. Oh. And try to focus on his genitals. Oh, I hate this. Good. Oh, I like wanna cry right now. Now take your other hand and place it on Daniel's member. No. Oh. 
<laughs> We're all rooting for you. Oh, I just want to hug her and tell her she's okay and that she doesn't need to do any of this. Please just give me a few more seconds. I know I can do it. Oh. Are the police pursuing a case against him? No, I don't believe so, but... Yeah, why would they? It's an obsession with Dr. Ryan has to stop. But there's mounting evidence at this point. Of course he's not going to believe her. I know how it sounds, but oh. you... I really don't think you do. I saw her... This man has gotten five minutes of airtime, maybe, in the past four episodes, and I just cannot stand him. They're on to you, Arthur. If you have any housekeeping to take care of... I knew... Mmm... This man, I knew I didn't like him. And possibly a war criminal. Have you brought this to the attention of your Monsignor? Yeah, and guess what, he doesn't care. I cannot, I will not go behind the back of the man who gave me my mission in life, who believed in me. No, you need to. He is not who made you who you are, Jude. You came to me a tortured woman, ravaged by alcohol and guilt, but you had a compass. Oh, I like her. You're the only person I ever had a second thought about in this hellhole. Why'd you lie to me, Grace? There was no man named Red. You killed your stepmother and then your father. Oh, so she did? I was so young when it started. My father would come into my room at night. No. And do things. Ugh, every man in this show, except for Kit, is just trash. Ooh. I'm not that surprised that she ended up doing it, but I just had a little bit of faith that she was wrongly convicted. I admire you. Oh, okay. I want to talk to you. Sir. I haven't been able to sleep since you left. It's not the time. I'm so sorry, Lena. I wish I had been- That you put her through that? I'm not an aversion therapy advocate, but I thought it made sense in the moment. Now I wish I'd spared you. Yeah. I brought you this. They'll never let me keep this. You only have to hide it until the end of the week. I'm leaving here on Friday and I'm taking you with me. I don't know how yet, but I will not leave you in this place, Lena. Okay. God knows how. Well, then he knows. If I murdered those women, he knows if I, if I did those horrible things, I must have, I mean, mm. everyone's saying that I did. No, don't listen to them. We are all sinners, every one of us. What the things I've done, sister. That you can't recall. <laughs> Two amazing actors, one room, one scene. <laughs> Oh, here we go. I bet it looked a lot like this place. You want to know what goes on in here? You're about to find out. Ugh. How is there a worse character than him? I just would love to know. Oh. Come on. Now's the time. Confess. No, you need to shoot him right now. What's that? I mean, it's not where we wanted it to be, but... Give me the key. Give me the key! Shoot him in the head and then get the key from him. Oh. Kill me! Oh. I knew it was gonna be so bad for her. It's stressful to watch this show. This is probably the most intense show I feel like I've watched in my life. And I'm not even trying to be dramatic about it. Like there are so many different things that are happening that are incredibly messed up that I don't even have words for. I just feel sick to my stomach. I don't even know where to start with all of the things that are so disgusting. I guess let's start with Sarah Paulson's character. Just absolutely awful that the therapist did that to her. When he said that he was gonna get her out and that he was sorry for even putting her through that, I hope he really meant that because again it's just like so messed up that you would do that to someone i don't really know what therapists thought of the lgbtq plus community back when this takes place but there had to have been genuinely good people out there that are like yeah it doesn't matter if you like girls it's cool like you know i don't know so i just it's like why isn't that him how does he not know that it's like i know people described it as like a mental illness and things like that and i'm just like 
Grace, I don't know how I feel about her now. I really liked her. I still really like her, but I mean, the fact that she actually is a murderer after she said that she didn't do it. Dr. Arden, we know he's trash. Monsignor, I mean, I had a feeling he was gonna be trash, but this episode confirmed he was trash. And poor, I don't even know her name. Crap, what is her name? The girl from last episode, I feel so bad. I'm assuming that's kind of what the people out in the woods, what happened to them? I don't know, guys. It's all too much. Anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back soon. So stick around for my next video and I will see you guys then.